In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to show you how to make some rather interesting effects using the Track Mat Special Effect key. What I have on the screen, I'll make it larger so you can see it, is a video of a bike race. We're going to promote a bike race. And when I play it, you see the, the racer come in from the right, and then you have, find the date will pop up over here. And it's a nice, simple promo of a bicycle race. Let me show you what happens when we try something a little different with this. I'm going to continue to play it, and you'll see a section where all of a sudden the image changes quite dramatically. Now my Tri-City Charity is hard to ignore. It looks like the letters are on fire. And here we've gone off the, the area of the video. But you see the effect that we're using. This was done using a track mat key effect. And let me show you how I did that. And I'll show you another way in which we can use that. So what I'm going to do is simply delete this, this whole track here and describe what we have. First of all, we have our main video on video track number one. This is the biker going down the road. And then I have a title track two. Title track two contains only the black title, Tri-City Charity, and then the gradient that says bike race. Title three is the date of the event which I wanted to pop in later. So here we have a pretty, some pretty standard titling on our particular video, and everything looks great. But what if I want to do something kind of special? Well, this is where I will use my track mat key. Now, the track mat key basically will say, I want you to punch a hole in this, but shape it after a different track and I'm going to pick video track number three which contains all these letters here. Now in order to do that I can put on video track two either a solid object or uh, something in motion. So I'm going to go to my assets here. I'm going to take this one here, this fiery thing, and put it on video track number two. Now, if, I, if all I do is that, it will actually, it will replace the image of my biker. Now, that's not what I want. But I'm going to use this, punch a hole using this particular video. And the hole will be in the shape of what's on video track number three. That is what my key does. That's what my special effect does. Let me show you a little bit here. Well, go to the right uh, to my... Uh, action bar, click on FX, and under the keying section, I'll choose the track mat key and drag it and drop it on my special effect video. I don't drop it onto my main track. I drop it onto the video that's sitting on top of it. And then when I do that, I have some options. It says, what is the mat? Where are you going to find uh, the item you want to use. I'll click on the down arrow and it detects that I have something on video track 3 and video track 4. Now 3 is my title, 4 is my date. I want to use my title so I'll click on video track 3 and watch what happens. It figured it out. It takes everything no matter what color. It's not, t it's not tying into the color, it's tying into the shape. And so it takes the shape of whatever it found on video three, which is the title, punches a hole, as it were, into the video on track one. And what it, I see is what's on video track number two. So when I go ahead and play this from the beginning now with this effect. So that's one example of how you can use that kind of effect. Let me give you another example. If we go farther along in the timeline here, I have a different video on my video track number one, which is just plain bikers. And just for fun, I'm going to show you it doesn't have to be letters, it can be any object. I have in my project assets a PNG of a plane. Now, unfortunately, uh, it, it shows black on black here. And I'm not sure uh, how, what I can do to change that. But there, there is a silhouette of a plane in this PNG picture. 
And so I took that and I put this on video track three. I could have put it on video track four as well. It doesn't matter. Then I'm going to go ahead and we'll pick uh, uh, a uh, uh, something else to put on video track two. I'm going to use the fire again just because it's handy. And now I have this on video track number two. I'm going to do the same process uh, with, with this selected. I go to my effects room. I'm going to add the track mat key to this item here. And then I pick the, the track I want to get my image from. I'll pick three here. And now it matted that. So when I go ahead and play the video from this segment forward, I'm going to see that the plane I picked has been matted and the shape of the plane, again, this only affects the shape, is the color of that particular item here. Now again, it could be solid, could be anything I want. Now I made the plane fly across the screen by keyframing the plane up on video track number three. So we have a different tutorial showing you how to keyframe objects. So here I actually am moving my mat from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen and the effect understands what's going on. And so I have my fiery plane flying across the screen. These are only two of the ways in which you can use this special effect in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018.